cover longest length method the gas pipe sizing it's one of the most common ways to size gas pipe along with the branch length method but this is a little bit more uh, more common and you can find find examples in MFPA 54 uh, IPC IFGC ASPE And when utilizing uh, these resources, you just gotta take a couple things into consideration. Some basic stuff. Make sure you're using the uh, when you're going through the pages, size your gas pipe. Just make sure you're on the right page as far as the material you're using. If you're using uh, black steel, Schedule 40 metallic pipe. You wanna that's what page you wanna be on. But you also wanna. Make sure you're on the natural gas page and not propane. And you can get some of the other characteristics here. Some of this information from your local gas company. I can tell you what they can provide for you uh, in regards to pressure and specific gravity of the gas. 0.6 is pretty common for natural gas to be. Specific gravity would be 0.6. But you always want to double check with your local gas supplier, local gas company. Next, just reminder that cubic feet an hour to be to use, you just multiply by a thousand. So at first glance, you know you might think 172 is 172,000. I mean 172. It's really 172,000 when it comes to BTUs. So it's 172 cubic feet an hour. It's also 172,000 BTUs. And here we have a, uh, an example, a gas main that has a 40 CFH watt heater or 40,000 BTU, 35 CFH stove or 35,000 BTU stove, and a 95 CFH or 95,000 BTU furnace. Here, in this example, we have a three-section main, or main but three sections, as well as three branches, one for each of the gas appliances. Now, it's the longest length method, so we have to find the longest length from the meter outlet to the furthest gas appliance. So in this example, you add up the, the main, the meter outlet to the furnace, because the furnace is the fur furthest gas appliance away from the meter, and you get 36 feet. So A plus C plus E plus F, 36 feet. However, you have to round up when you go to the chart. So it goes the, at the beginning here, it's increments of 10. So 36 is more than 30, so you have to round up to 40. Again, this is longest length method. This is the column you're going to use throughout the entirety of this sizing example. So, next step, you can add up all of your appliances and convert to BTUs. You'll be adding up the BTU input of the appliance, now the output. Watt heater range and furnace. 40, 35, 95, you get 170,000 BTUs. So, section A of the gas main, 170,000 BTUs in the 40 foot length column. And then you go up, and the pipe size, 3 quarter. That section of the main is 3 quarter. Actually, you can do your first branch. There's a couple of ways you can do it. We'll do it this way. So your first branch is 40,000 BTUs. Right, the water heat is 40,000 BTUs. 40 foot column. Lowest we can go is half inch. 
that'll give us an allowance of 81,000 BTUs. But, so it's more than enough of 40. Next, do your second section of the main. The section has the load of the range and the furnace, which gives you 130,000 BTUs. And the 40 foot column, 130, it's larger than 81, so that's three quarter. Next to your second branch, second branch is 35,000 BTUs. And the 40 foot column gives you half inch. Now do your last section of the main and do your last branch because they will be the same size. So your furnace is 95,000. In section E of your main, the only load on it is the furnace. That's why they're the same size. That doesn't mean that if there's a half inch gas valve inside the furnace, you're not going to have half inch coming out of the furnace. But the drop will be three quarter. 95, larger than 81, so you have to go up to the 170, staying in the 40 foot column, and it's three quarter. So remember, you can size the you can size the main first, and then do your branches. Whatever's more convenient for you, or whatever makes more sense to you. But make sure you start off with the right information in the first place. Once you get used to it, it's not so bad. That was the longest length method.